Hello and welcome back to uh, the fundamentals of computer networking series. This is class 4. Here we are here to discuss about conversions. In last class we did binary to decimal conversion. In today's class we will do decimal to binary conversion. However it is not necessary but still it is a one of the topic we should know this that's why we are doing it. So let's uh, proceed and uh, one more information uh, we have our telegram community to give like a live tech support you can join become a member for getting a free tech support and you can give support also thank you let us start converting decimal to binary decimal to binary So if you take any decimal number, but uh, there is a condition. In binary also, we had a condition. You have to take only 8 bits, right? Similarly, in decimal, we have to take a number, decimal number, 0 to 255 only. There is a condition, there is a reason why we have to take this number. But most of you understood this already because in IPv4 8 bits 1 octet that's why we are taking this. If you don't know about IPv IP address, you don't know about octet, just leave it. We are going to discuss hereafter. So if you are going to convert decimal number to binary, you have to choose the number between this 0 to 255. Let me take one number for example. 192 so take this number for me it is very easy so what we do is you remember right a last class we did some box method to making something easy similarly I will always use this box say this for me it is very easier why I'm saying is when I came to know this number system all this now we have lot of methods of uh, uh, converting decimal to binary that is LCM method by dividing by into 2 to 2 into 2 like that but rather than this will be very easy for us to understand subnetting also that's why I'm choosing this so let me go with this box by looking at this you will understand that there are 8 bits and uh, I hope you know this 128 is a place value 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 these are the place values so what I'm going to do I want convert 192 into this uh, number right I will apply this method let's understand which combinations will become 192 which combination which combination values see 128 plus 64 if you add these two IDs 128 plus 64 uh, 192 right that's all over so remaining all zeros this is a binary number this is decimal number this is binary number now you are thinking uh, you have taken very easy number and converting into decimal uh, binary that is very easy anybody can do that yes obviously uh, let's take 127 this is little bit difficult right 127 let's take the same box uh, keep the values place values here keep the place values here now now submit the values how to get the number now I cannot put one right here because my given value is 127 only the place value is 128 this given value sorry place value is greater than one uh, given value so just remove this I cannot put 1 here so I should make it 0 let's say 64 plus 32 96 right 96 clear 64 plus 32 96 uh, 96 plus 20 
96 plus 20 R R we do like this huh? 96 plus 4 200 huh? sorry sorry 100 hmm? 96 plus 4 100 100 plus 100 and 100 plus 10 these two values will become 10 110 uh, 126 then 127 if you want to know very simple pa, this two combination 96 uh, okay what I did after that I made it 4 into this combination total 100 I cha 100 done now what I did uh, let's make uh, this two combination this will become 110 uh, and this is 16 added 16 here 16 then 1 add so total 127 you got it so sir if you find this is very difficult uh, putting box and making calculation like this very difficult and you know the other method 127 so in sorry sorry pa. so what we have method here to uh, there is a LC method right dividing by 2 uh, 64 1 uh, 2 so it will be something like this right but instead of doing like this uh, use this method you may feel difficult initially but uh, slowly if you get to practice now in subnetting you feel very comfortable pa. Hmm? so subnetting because see why I am doing all this you know to make subnetting very clear if you want to become master in subnetting then you have to follow this this step only this method only okay a person who don't know nothing about this uh, subject uh, he become master okay by using this method only this method I'm following the same you may you may thinking who is the person who became master by using this method it's me only uh, I am the live example for this method mastering of the subject ok let's take uh, some other number uh, let's go for uh, 130 ok take 130 I want to convert this 130 into uh, binary number let me make it properly I will go for this one 130 no I can make it one right. Ayo, it became easy. Ah, huh? one twenty eight plus zero one zero huh? zero 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 zero. That's all. Over. Okay. Let's take another number. This is also easy only. Two fifty five. Two fifty five number. Super number. Two fifty five. Many of you know this already if you apply all ones in all 8 bits will become 255 so you have to remember if you put all ones into 8 bits uh, 255 will be the value uh, with the help of with the help of this uh, uh, we will understand uh, 223 we have to find out the binary number of the 223 uh. how how 223 will come shall we play now what we do see 128 can we play reverse game if you apply all ones uh, in 8 bits uh, it become 255 uh. in 255 if you minus 32 if you minus 32 what is this 223 that's all simple no need to calculate no need to put all this but you need to practice a lot a lot uh, you have to take each one one by one one by one number you have to do practice if you don't practice no no it is it, then it is very difficult to understand and it is very difficult to play game with this now <coughs> I have some table I have some table let me bring the table in this form uh, this table will help a lot if you apply 
all zeros pa huh? apply all zeros what will be the z number i gave you homework right last class i think uh, you have done i don't know hmm? i cannot check you right is there any possible to meet where you can directly ping me where you can uh, message on the call then there is only one option you can join our telegram group where you can ping me directly you can reach and you can ask some questions related to this topic if you have any doubts and uh, you can ask in comment section also no problem see this is a table it's a table in this table what we do see if you put all zeros zero only this is one this is what two plus one three four plus two plus one four plus two plus one what is the number uh, seven eight plus four twelve twelve plus three fifteen this is one uh, you see here if you have continuous ones uh, from right to left uh, continuous ones uh, what is the last one number place value eight uh, what is the next place value of the last number sixteen minus 1 is the total number for your understanding again see I have continuous 5 ones right 1 2 3 4 5 here uh, here 5 ones and 5 ones what is the next place value 32 just put minus 1 31 is the total value number play the game continuous 6 ones which means what is the 6 place, place value 1 2 3 4 5 6 what is the next place value 64 minus 1 will be the total value 63 this is 127 this is 255 what is this these are the values of some shortcuts if you look at this uh, 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 no 31 0 0 1 1 1 33 uh, 63 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 7 like that you can identify easily uh, if you are doing practice a lot say nowadays we have a lot of calculators in Google if you search calculator but I'm not going to show you now maybe in next class we'll see if you enter these values no you can you have the binary calculator binary to decimal calculator but uh, we will use calculator to cross-check whether we are doing or not okay so follow this method in next uh, class I will be uh, finishing this conversion process do this as a homework again I'm going to give you take 25 decimal numbers take 25 decimal numbers and use that numbers into binary do this as a homework this is home this is work homework once you done now then submit in our group uh, if you don't want to submit no just leave it no problem but you do it huh? you do practice well in next class we are going to finish the conversion process we will convert how to convert decimal to binary binary to decimal we did it and we also convert hexadecimal converting into hexadecimal that is also very important when you are going to learn about IPv6 MAC addresses some address IDs you know if you want to learn some ID in uh, many places like docker container you have container ID that is in hexadecimal only at that time you cannot uh, uh, what you cannot easily identify what it is that's why we will understand some conversions between all the three number systems next class we are we are going to finish this converse uh, number system then we'll start some other topic thank you see you in the next class